notorious Connor McGregor! Connor McGregor! Too easy! Wow! I know it's very fresh, but how quickly do you want to come back? I'll have a celebration tonight, a little celebration. I'll spend time with the family and then I'll back to China. The last time we spoke on camera, you obviously had very big plans for 2020 and much like the entire world, those plans changed. And so I'm just curious off the bat, how would you describe your 2020? As always, Ariel, we focus on the positive side. Uh, you know, I had a great 2020, I had a great performance. I opened the show, highest pay-per-view, highest gate, fastest main event knockout, an extravagant blockbuster event that set the UFC off on a trailblazing run. I was ready to continue. Um, it didn't go that way. It is what it is. And, and we're back, and I'm very happy to be back. 2021, we're going to replicate this. In June, you retire once again online. Why did you do that? And do you regret, quote unquote, retiring? You know, I'll probably never retire from the game. It felt like I was shelved almost, you know. I felt like I've got what I needed to get off my chest. I'm in a great spot, and I'm excited to come back. We're focusing on the positive side of it, and we're focusing on the future. How did we end up with your return fight being against Dustin Poirier, of all people? I was uh, just trying to get some competition going, something, something popping. You know what I mean? I, I was, I was trying, I was finding it hard to get something going, and you know he has not get wins over Justin. Uh, you know he beat Hooker. He's a former champion in the division, also. I'm excited to get in and compete against Dustin. I think he's, I think he's a top this division for sure. Poirier and McGregor, it is all over, just like that. He said, first round KO. Mark my words. Do you feel pressure to do something even more spectacular than the first fight? You need to finish him quicker than the first time around. You know, it's certainly, it's certainly a different bout when you face a man twice, right? It should be. In that scenario, I must do it better. I'm highly confident the shots I will need to land will be hit home inside that first 60 second mark. If Dustin can withstand them, more power to him. I know he's hoping it's a war and a dragged out war back and forth. I am actually excited about that also. I, I wouldn't be against that. I'd actually, I'd actually love that. I would actually relish a war uh, with Dustin. You would prefer a war over a 60 second fight? Uh, yeah, I probably would, to be honest. What's a war to him and what's a war to me are two different things, you know. it's If he can last, he can last, but it's it's going to be a smooth one for me, to be honest, Ariel, you know. I know, I know Dustin's a good, a good fighter, but I'm the double greatest. If it all goes well on the 23rd, can you map out the perfect 2021 for Conor McGregor? Competition is what I'm after here. You know, good competition and, and you know, that's it get my full sharpness. So I just want to be kept busy. I want competition. You have left an indelible imprint on this sport and we congratulate you as you walk away 29 and 0. Back in October when Khabib suddenly retired, everyone thought, including myself, that this fight would be for the belt. Are you surprised and or disappointed that it's not for the title? Not surprised, not disappointed. I, I feel it should be for the title also. Do you think Khabib fights again? I think he's afraid to fight me, that's for damn sure. You know, and I don't blame him. I fought the best of him on that night. He fought the worst of me on that night. He knows it, I know it, his team knows it. I have the answer to destroy that man. Do you think he retired because he didn't want to fight you? Is that what you are essentially saying? Uh, yes, I would say so. Now there, you know, I, I think his hand was shown. He's not a true fighter, in my opinion. You know, how could you walk away? There's so many great fights to be had, you know? Not only did he sh on the bus, I think he pissed on the chips also. I think he showed his hand. But then at the same time, you know, there is family issues and, you know, it is what it is, so all the best. Dana White has been very clear about the fact that he wants to see the rematch. Do you think the rematch happens in 2021? I'm here for it. I'm ready for it. I would like it to. It's a what have you done for me lately business. And the clock is ticking for sure. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.